Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're experiencing high CPU or memory usage when playing Modern Warfare War Zones on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would check is make sure that your graphics card is up to date. So if you want to go online and look up your graphics card manufacturer, whether it be AMD or NVIDIA, and download their automated utility to go ahead and scan your system for applicable drives to be updated, I recommend following along with that. You can search on my channel how to update graphics card drivers for either AMD or NVIDIA. I have made tutorials on both of those matters in the past. So go ahead and check that out if you need to. Something else you can try as well, if you have a lot of other programs on your computer before you launch the Call of Duty game, you want to just close out of them so you have more free resources available. You may also want to consider upgrading your physical RAM on your system if it's available, if you're able to upgrade. So that's something else to consider as well. And you can also change your graphics settings too. Open up the search menu, type in graphics, best match to come back with graphics settings. Go ahead and open that up. And then you're going to locate the Call of Duty Modern Warfare on this list, and you would just left click on it, and you would select Options. I recommend switching it to Power Saving Mode as opposed to High Performance if you're having performance issues. So I would switch it to Power Saving Mode, and then you would select Save Change. So pretty straightforward process on that as well. One further thing I'd like to explore as well, if you open up the search menu, and type in Disk Cleanup. Best result, check them back with Disk Cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. Select the drive you want to clean up. Usually it should be the C drive unless Call of Duty is on a different drive and then you would select that in that case. And you're going to select clean up system files. And then you're going to go ahead and select OK. Make sure you want to permanently delete these files. Select delete. And once that's done, hopefully you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do both hope to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.